Thank you for joining me as we continue to look at living a resurrection faith. Our gospel reading this week came from John 14. Jesus talked about sending an advocate to be with us after he's gone. He knew that the disciples needed to be encouraged with this word, and so he let them know that they would not be alone. He does the same for us as well. I want to share with you my call story just briefly because quite honestly were it not for the Holy Spirit I would not be sitting here today as a pastor. The Holy Spirit is the one that moved me beyond what I believed that I could do. It might surprise you but I changed my major enough in college that I never took a speech class. In fact I never took a speech class in high school. The reason? Because I never intended to speak in front of people. Now you may say, well, wait, we know you were a math teacher, so you had to speak in front of people, students. And I will tell you this, that it's quite different speaking and teaching in front of students. You see, I knew the material that I was given. Talk to me about math for the most part, and I'm in my element. But this whole thing about talking to people about God, I just wasn't sure that's where I was supposed to be. But God sent many people my way. The Holy Spirit led me to the truth that perhaps God was calling me. I remember Bob. Bob, who would oftentimes uh, talk to me about, Bob was in his 80s. And the one thing he said to me uh, was this. He said, don't get to be my age and regret that you never gave it a chance. You see, Bob was just trying to protect me from not doing what God was calling me to do. Another one, Joyce, I remember Joyce clearly. He was the first one who ever called me pastor, and I was not a pastor at the time. But clearly, I think it was the Spirit once again nudging me. I was a high school math teacher, and I loved being a high school math teacher. And the truth of it is, had I stayed in that profession, which I was fully prepared to do, I would be retired now and living a very different life. But I do believe that the Spirit spoke to me through so many people. I could name people over and over and over again who helped me hear the calling that God was giving to me. The Spirit does move us in our lives. It's one of the things, though, that we don't want to talk about necessarily because the Spirit is so elusive. But for me, the Spirit was truly a guide, an advocate, a nudger, someone to take me out of my comfort zone. And to this day, I appreciate because I do love what I do now, preaching the Word of God sharing the good news of Jesus Christ, and letting people know that the Spirit is still with us, moving us to be what we could never imagine we could be. My prayers are with you as the Spirit nudges you gently out of your comfort zone to be what God has called you to be.